What's up, y'all? Hey, we're going to do some more cue talking explanation of just different things, right? To kind of help <clears throat> us understand, like, you know, what we're trying to do. So we're going to jump here up here in the cage, kind of talk about some cues that will kind of help you, like, be able to process, you know, different stuff, um, help you be able to be more consistent in your in your swing and your practice to get ready because everybody's trying to ball everybody's trying to everybody's trying to freaking hit the ball hard stay in the lineup get hot stay hot so let's jump back here and get going let's go yo all right we're going to talk about the feet we're going to talk about getting the foot down we're going to talk about what all that crud means and how you can better understand to get in a better position so you can turn harder be more consistent hit the ball hard hold on i gotta get my shoe on okay so we had a post kind of go pop and go big right and it was talking about the leg and the hip getting in the ground so the foot right so kind of wanted to go into that a little bit more go into some detail about that so you can kind of understand it a little bit more why we were talking about that right so man so many people talk about foot down right we've we talked about that right and how like we got to be better in our language at that right <clears throat> so what it really comes down to right is we've got to stop thinking about foot down Right, what we've got to start, what we have to start thinking about is letting our hip finish, right? Our hip, almost like our hip getting into the ground, right? So one of the one of the things that we're that that people were asking us a lot about is the cue that we put in there, right? So again, caveat, because some people like to get butt hurt, right? Some people like to take this, that, and the other and not just listen with information, right? So like, <clears throat> is it just a cue? just something to get your brain thinking so you can process it right and not just use baseball terms right engage different parts of your brain right so the cue right would be imagine that your foot is cut off at the ankle and that's how you have to land that's how you have to carry your body okay so you see that clip of laddie just like being so still and controlled that it's kind of what we're trying to get at with that principle, right? He's not going hard under the ground, right? Stomping his foot, just getting his foot down. He's not doing any of that, right? What he's trying to do is control his body, right? <clears throat> so he can feel good and then just release and go, right? So an easy way to think about that, right? Cue wise is I'm not landing on my foot. I'm moving my hips to the ball to a powerful position, right? And then so I can release and turn and hit the ball hard. Whatever I'm trying to do, right but i'm thinking hey i gotta do that in such a way to where it's like i'm not relying on my foot to hold the ground right now obviously right your foot is there but if we're moving in such a way as to where that foot is put down soft it's almost like the hip right puts it down right it's better because the hip moves the foot right the hip moves the knee moves the foot right so we want our hip to be finished not necessarily worried about our foot because look foot down could be this right now the first thing that's going to happen is what i'm going to go right i'm going to get here and i have to unlock this so it can move and now watch the back barrel dump not good ain't nothing good going this way right so that's kind of the cue right that way to kind of help you process in a different way okay so think about the foot being cut off and you having to move your body in such a way and put it on the ground right and hold it right like you don't have a foot and that'll really enable you to move and not fall not push not get there right so that cue will really help I'm telling you try it so real talk Stop saying old things just because they've always been said, right? We got to use the most of, we got to use our brain. We got to use the most different parts that we can, right? And we, and we can learn from different things. There's nothing wrong with the, the, there's nothing wrong with the new. There's nothing wrong with the old, right? But saying stuff just because that's what it's always been, saying stuff because that's a cue to whatever, whatever, most people don't get it. So stop it, right? Figure out a way. All we're trying to do is figure out a way to get in the ground so our hands can let go and we can go, right? So this is a really simple way to think about that in a different way, okay? That's all we're trying to do. We'll really, really help you with that. Go try that out. Subscribe down there. I'll see you next time, baby.